for Christmas, it's you. <laughs> Hi guys. Hi. Happy holidays. Yes, <laughs> it's December. We decided to take a little break from all of this first trimester stuff and all of this pregnancy symptom stuff uh, and lighten the mood just for a second yeah. and share with you a really fun Christmas tag that Priscilla found on a channel called It's Our Wonderful Life. So yeah. we'll link to them down low and thanks guys for putting up a great tag and uh, we're gonna take it and roll with it here. Yeah, it's really fun. It's a Christmas tag. It's called Christmas tag. <laughs> <laughs> and we're really excited to do it because we yeah. love Christmas. We so. love Christmas. This Shall is this is the favorite time of year. Yeah, definitely. it is. Okay. Uh, so we'll get it going. I've got the computer here. Question number one, what is your favorite Christmas film? Mine is no question, Love Actually. I watched that movie so many times. I, it's one of the only movies that I can actually quote from. You know, I know the lines and everything, so I love yeah. that movie. Yeah, and, and I will honestly say the same thing because it's sort of become a tradition for us. Yeah. We watch it every single year, right around this time. <laughs> I liked a lot growing up the, uh, the Christmas Story. Did you ever see that movie? Yeah. The I'm kid gonna... with the rifle and then the tongue stuck to the pole. Yeah. You're gonna shoot your eyes out. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> See, you can pull from that too. <laughs> well, everybody can. <laughs> Number two, have you ever had a white Christmas? Yes, and I miss them. The first time that I've ever saw snow, I was 19 years old. So yeah. it's funny for probably for many of you guys who you know grew up with winter, mm -hmm. but. Since then, I've had White Christmas so many times because I lived in New York City and I lived in Chicago and both places, you know, snow a lot in the winter. For me, this was this last winter, this last Christmas, and now this one here, the only times I've ever not had a White Christmas yeah. in my life. The it only time I ever didn't see snow and it was crazy, so. Yeah, because now we're in the tropics, yeah. like summertime. I'm, I'm looking at palm trees, guys. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Question number three, uh, where do you usually spend your holiday? At home with family or friends. Yeah. I think in the yeah, it's past, a, it's a nice balance, yeah, think. yeah. We have a picture of our last Christmas that we spent in our uh, house in Chicago, so maybe we could put it up if, here. If you can find it, we will. Yeah. But uh, yeah. yeah, friends and family, the best way to spend it. Yeah, time. for sure. Number four, what is your favorite Christmas song? I don't know if it's Mariah Carey's song, if it's her original <laughs> song, but all I want for Christmas is you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a bit of a that's actually by yeah. the way. I'm more of a traditionalist. I like Nat King Cole singing a Christmas song, like chestnuts roasting on an open fire. Oh yeah, that. that's so nice. Yeah, that's me. I grew up with that. Yeah. Number five, do you open any presents on Christmas Eve? Usually not. No? We wait for Christmas Day. When I was growing up, the tradition was always to open up one present on Christmas Eve. So maybe next year when we've got a little one with us on Christmas, uh, maybe we'll do that, we can restart the tradition. Uh, number six, can you name all of Santa's reindeer? No. <laughs> I only know Rodolph. Rudolph. Rudolph? Yeah. <laughs> I thought you were going to say Rodolfo. <laughs> Rudolph. I only know Rudolph. I know, yeah, there was uh, Dasher and Dancer and Prancer and Vixen, Common and Cupid, Donner and Blitzen. Jeez. But do you recall the most famous reindeer of all? Da -da 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 uh, Rudolph, man. <laughs> Number seven, what holiday oh. traditions are you looking forward to most this year? This year? Yeah. I think spending Christmas again with my family here in Brazil yeah. and spending Christmas for the first time with our nephew, Joaquin. Because yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, my sister... Um, our new addition. Our new addition to the family. We have two new additions. Yeah. Um, my sister's baby, Joaquin, and we also have Alba, who is my brother's baby, but they live in Spain, so they're not going to spend Christmas here with us. Nice. But I'm looking forward to have, you know, to have Joaquin with us, the baby. Yeah, it's all about family, guys. Yeah. So, a uh, wonderful tradition to yeah. be able to spend it with them. New additions, I love new yeah. additions. Number eight, is your Christmas tree real or fake? This year, unfortunately, it's fake. Yeah, last year too. Back in the States, we would always have a real tree, and as soon as we're back there, it'll be again. fingers covered in sap we all over again. We love real trees. I yeah. think it's, the you know, smell, yeah. feel of it. It's, all, it's all about personal preference, obviously. You know, some people prefer fake trees, some people prefer real trees. We prefer real trees because I can't get enough of the smell of Christmas trees, <laughs> right? <laughs> Isn't true. that true? Like, if the tree, I'm just like, <gasps> 
<gasps> it's all about the nose with this one. Yeah. Like Christmas smells, candle smells, tree cookies smells, cookie smells. smells. Everything. Oh, love Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> Number nine, what is your all-time favorite holiday food slash sweet, sweet treats? Mm. I'm gonna answer that okay. it is uh, one of my very best friends, Anders. Yes! He okay. makes this incredible sweet, sweet potato, potato casserole. casserole dish for the holidays. Oh. And it is incredible. It's like got brown sugar and nuts crumbled over the top of it, and I need the recipe so we yeah. can replicate it here. Usually he makes it for Thanksgiving, but he also makes it for Christmas because we love it so much. Yeah. And we usually, you know, in the US, when we lived in Chicago, we spent Christmas a few times together, so he would make it for us, yeah. and it's the best. Number 10, be honest, do you like giving gifts or receiving gifts better? I love giving gifts because I will, if he tells me something in the beginning of the year, let's say, that he's interested in, I will keep that information and yeah. then I'll think about it for the entire year and then I'll make it happen for Christmas. <laughs> Priscilla is an incredible gift giver, like a way better <laughs> gift giver than I am. I will sort of say, like, I'm gonna come, I'll say I'm on the fence about it. I love giving gifts, but I also love getting gifts from this one <laughs> because she's so good at it. Number 11, what is the best Christmas gift you've ever received? The best gift that I've ever received was the first Christmas that Ryan and I were together. And I think at some point I mentioned to him that I really love aquamarine. And he got me for that Christmas a necklace mm -hmm. with a aquamarine pendant and a few diamonds. And it was just like, whoa, it was really, really impressive. And not because of the gift itself, but for because of the gesture. Because he listened and we were together for, you know, for a few months. It was really nice. Thank you very what much. About you? For me, it's when it was also our first year together. It was crazy. That Christmas was it was a crazy like Christmas. That. But Priscilla got me this gift of the five senses. She got <laughs> she got me something for each sense. And my favorite one of all was that the uh, the gift of hearing <laughs> were Wilco tickets. I love Wilco. One of my favorite bands. So uh, so that was an awesome and well thought out gift. Yeah. Number twelve. What would be your dream place to visit for the holiday season? Oh my gosh, I think... These are tough. Yeah, these are tough. Lately, I've been thinking London, just because it looks so nice and Christmassy uh -huh. and just beautiful. You know, I've spent Christmas in Chicago and in New York, and I think another major city to spend Christmas in would be London. Yeah. So, I would say I like London. that. That's a good yeah. answer. I've been thinking a little cabin in the woods, like a little mountain cabin, mm. someplace with a fireplace and like I have to haul in wood from the outside. Imagine, you would do that. <laughs> imagine the smells. Yes. Baby, imagine oh, the smells. I would love it. Number 13, are you a pro present rapper or do you fail miserably? I fail miserably and that's all I'm saying about it. I hate wrapping uh, presents. <laughs> I am a pro present rapper. Right. I, I rap more meticulously than any guy you've ever met. Yeah. I learned it from my grandmother actually. The grandma was just Incredible, like all the folds, nice and clean, minimal tape usage. Yeah. Professional. I am the, the gift <laughs> shopper in our family, and Ryan is the gift wrapper in our family. <laughs> That's how we roll, guys. Yes. Number 14, most memorable holiday moments. Oh, you know, I have one actually. That one year that we went to Wisconsin and we mm -hmm. spent Christmas at your mom's house, and it was me, Ryan, Renee, his sister, and Ryan's mom, Lynn, and she had a wooden stove in the house yeah. and it was so cozy and comfortable and we made s'mores and it was my first time having s'mores ever. I had had s'mores or I had had products that tasted like s'mores but I never had s'mores that I actually made, that I actually toasted marshmallows That's and cool. like, you know, and that was really, really, really uh, memorable. I, we have a picture of that as well, so we're, we're starting here. <laughs> you got some work to do yeah. after this. <laughs> I am gonna go, I'm gonna go way back in time actually to when I was a kid. Uh, okay. It was one of my Christmases with my sister. We made awesome home movies all day, like little stop motion animation. We had so okay. much fun and I want to see that video again. It was pretty awesome. Yeah, maybe when we go back to yeah. the US. Number 15, what made you realize the truth about Santa? A mean boy in my class. Oh. Mm -hmm. he, he told me, I remember, I was about five or six years old and I was really excited saying that Santa was gonna come and give me gifts, blah, blah, blah. And then he, this mean boy, told me that Santa didn't exist and he wasn't real. So he crashed my dreams. That kid's mean. Mm -hmm. What For about me, you? For me, I remember 
just knowing when you're... I, I remember having a heart-to-heart -heart with my parents, my mom, I think, specifically, <laughs> and I was like, he's not real, is he? You're Santa. <laughs> and, and she... I don't remember exactly what was said, but at the end, I remember being sworn to secrecy because my sister was still all in. Oh. So, yeah. Number 16, last question. What makes the holidays special for you? There's nothing more special than spending the holidays with family and friends. Mm -hmm. um, this year is even more special than any other year before right. this one because obviously, you know, we have a little bean here with mm -hmm. us. We got a little bump. Yeah, and then next year, you know, he or she are going to be here with us and it's really special. Yeah, they're only going to keep getting better. Right. Same answer from me. Friends, yeah. family, all the best, having the chance to spend it with you yeah. and the bean and the boo back the there. <laughs> He's passed out, man. <laughs> Thanks guys for watching. We hope you enjoyed our video. Thanks for taking a break with us again yeah. from all of the pregnancy action. Uh, hope that you were enjoying a wonderful holiday season, however you choose to celebrate it. And uh, thanks for celebrating with us here for just a few minutes. If you enjoyed the video, give it a big thumbs up and leave a lovely comment down low. Subscribe if you haven't, and we'll see you guys back again very soon. Bye! Bye.